I am Pastor Peggy from Slave Lake, Alberta. And I'm Pastor Diane from Norfolk, New York. Welcome to Find Out Friday. Ooh, what's Find Out Friday all about? Well, it's a day to find out about people. Or maybe things or whatever. But today we're going to try to find out about each other and about you. Ooh. Won't that be fun? I like finding out things. I do too. Finding out things is my favorite thing to do. Is it? What kind of things do you like to find out? Well, I like I like fun facts. I like finding out about people. I like finding out about how people have been through the week. I like studying the Word of God, of course, and finding out things about that. So I'm always trying to, to search and to find out something new. So I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. What kind of fun fact could we find out about you? Oh, fun fact. Hmm. Well, my father was from a somewhat large family and first cousins on both my mother's and father's side. I can't remember how many are on my father's side because many of them I don't know. Um, and on my mother's side, there's her brother. I don't know his family very well. So this is a guesstimate. Either 62 or 69, somewhere around there. First cousins. First cousins, wow. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's just gotten bigger and bigger and bigger over time because those first cousins probably had children and... Yep. And, yeah. and I am the youngest grandchild on my father's side. So my oldest cousin on his side has three children and they're all older than I am. Oh, wow. Yeah. And on my mother's side, I'm not the youngest grandchild, but I, I am the youngest granddaughter. Wow. Yes. So if you were to have a family reunion, you'd need a big place. And we'd need name tags. Right. <laughs> and preferably, you know, son of so-and-so or daughter of Fred. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah, well, that's fun to find out. See, I love finding out new things. Well, what fun thing can we find out about you? Well, hmm. I guess, I mean, a lot of people ask me, you know, where I'm from originally because I've moved around quite a bit and I've been in a lot of different places and, and I was originally born in Newfoundland. That is, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, an East Coast province uh, here in Canada, uh, east of Maine, east of New Brunswick, east of Nova Scotia, so way out in the Atlantic. It even has its own time zone. Uh, so that's a fun fact right there, that it has its own time zone all by itself. But most people think that, oh, if you're from Newfoundland, then you grew up near the water. You're probably, you know, were the, a, a fisherman or there's a fisherman in your family or something like that. And there are probably fishermen in my family. But I grew up in a little mining town uh, in central Newfoundland. So we were actually located probably a good three, three hour, like a three hour drive away from the salt water. And not a lot of people know that about Newfoundland, that there's other industries there other than um, fishing. And our town was owned by the American Smelt Smelting and Refining Company uh, from America. So we were very influenced by some American things and um, that kind of thing. So it's a neat fun fact. I'm more familiar with hunting than I am with, say, fishing. You give me a fish, I know how to cook it, and I know she how to does. eat it. <laughs> I know how to eat it. <laughs> but I'd be like, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> if it wasn't already cleaned and filleted. <laughs> yeah, well, that's cool. Yeah. It's always fun to learn things about other people. And when we know things, just these little obscure facts, 
we get to get a better idea of who they are and, and where they're coming from. Yeah, so what we want you to do at home is we want you to comment down below, below, down below, <laughs> with a fun comment or a fun fact about you, something like what we shared. But another part of finding out about somebody is to ask them, how was your week? Oh. So, Diane, what what was something interesting that you did this week? Maybe uh, something Well, that... you know, um, being, being in this stay-at-home time, um, fun things to do. Uh, well, I got up and made my bed, but, you know, actually I didn't. But <laughs> I washed my bedding today. But that's not the highlight. Um, yesterday, I actually went out. No, it wasn't yesterday. It was Monday. Monday, I went out <laughs> and got groceries. And uh, before I went out to get the groceries, a few people had shared a, uh, a video with me um, about a doctor in Michigan. He was explaining how to, how to clean stuff that comes into your house like when you go out and get groceries this is what you need to do and uh so before i left i got the area all ready and cleaned it all off which that was that took a while um and when i came home i i followed his his model i made a few errors but i'll do better in two weeks time yep so i mean that that was a highlight for me because I felt like, well, maybe that I was in control and, and I was doing something proactive to to keep safe, to keep healthy. Right. Um, so, I mean, it's a great video. We're actually going to post the, the link down below. Check it out. Um, incredible stuff. And he does say, you know, it, it takes time. But hey, what else you got to do, right? It's funny when the highlight of your week is actually going out to go shopping for groceries. <laughs> hey, I'm free. <laughs> Something I can do. Yeah, often, like before this, um, it would be a highlight of my week if I went out shopping, like in Plattsburgh or, or Watertown, but not to get groceries. No. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Pastor Peggy? What uh, What's your highlight of the week? Well, my highlight this week was um, <clears throat> once once a week, um, I have a, a job other than being a pastor. And one of the things that I have to do is I actually have to go to the office. So there's, there's several of us in the office and uh, we each take a day to make sure that we're getting all the phone calls that we need to get and all that kind of stuff. So the highlight for me was actually getting out of the house and taking my time and wearing my gloves and going in and disinfecting as I go in and disinfecting as I go out. But it's a change of scenery. And, uh, you know, I, I'm working from home now that um, we're home, but, uh, you know, it's nice to be in a different environment and have something different to look at. So um, that's that was my highlight. Of this week. <laughs> Yay. Well, we want to know what your highlight of the week was. So yeah. post it. We want to know. Take a picture and put it in our comments. We'd love to to sift through all those. But I, I was thinking, Pastor Peggy, as you were talking about your highlight being going out. Um, and, and we hadn't actually talked about this, but what is a highlight of your week not doing, not to do with going out of our space? So what is a highlight of something that you've done within the house? Ooh. <laughs> you know, I, uh, what I try to do is I really try to make a schedule for myself. So a routine, uh, we are creatures of habit. We like routine. And when external change is, is forced upon us, which it is in this case, it is so important for our mental health and our spiritual life that we maintain 
uh, a routine. So there's two things that I really cling to as my daily routine. The first thing is to get up and to do a daily devotion. And I do that preferably in the morning. And if something happens, then I will do it in the evening. But the other thing is I pick a project for every day. So for about two hours every day from 10 to say 12, I concentrate on one thing. Um, and it gives me a sense of accomplishment when that one item is done. It's not overwhelming. I'm not, you know, doing something where I'm, you know, may have to go out and buy supplies for it or something, but it's something that I can do in my house. It could be a craft, it could be an email that I need to write or someone that I need to phone or it could be cleaning out a closet or doing some laundry or something like that. Yeah. I'd have to say the, the highlight of my week has been doing these live streams um, or doing these premieres, we'll call them, because we, <laughs> we, we, we do uh, video them beforehand and take out any bloopers and you never know, you might see a blooper roll on the weekend. Mm -hmm. um, but it's been fun just getting together and uh, filming this and then sitting down and doing the editing and, and cutting out the funny parts so that we don't look like complete fools. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Too late. Here we are. I mean, uh, this is this is very informal. We've never done anything like this before. Uh, we're really putting ourselves out there when we're doing this. And uh, we're doing it because I know that for, for us, it gives us a sense of, we're doing something to help. It's using our gifts and our talents in a specific way to maybe help somebody else. And that's what all of this is about. So um, Find Out Friday is going to look different every week. And we encourage you to interact with us and with the video, um, whether you're watching it in the premiere mode or whether you watch it later, we, we ask you to comment. Yes. And next week, it'll be a little different than it is this week. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we'll find out as we go. <laughs> so find out Fridays. So if you have any ideas for us, we would really like for you to leave them in our comments. Please be kind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so what we've asked you for today was, um, what is something that's unique about you? What is a highlight of your week? And and if that highlight happens to take place outside of your home, what's a highlight from inside of your home? Yeah, we'd love to see your pictures too. If you have a if you've done something unique inside of your home, for example, if maybe you're having a themed meal. Um, I know one one night I we did popcorn in a movie. Um, so if you're doing something like that, we would love to see a picture of that from your family uh, that you're comfortable to share. We, we really want you to interact with us here because this is all about connecting yes. and connecting our churches, connecting our communities and connecting other people worldwide. Maybe we'll have to take a trip when all of this is over and meet up. That would be great. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> well, it's been great to uh, find out about you on this beautiful Friday. And uh, we will see you next Tuesday when we do Trivia Tuesday. I'm Diane from Norfolk Wesleyan Church. And I'm Pastor Peggy from Slave Lake, Alberta. See you later. Be safe. Be healthy. And be, be the, the church. church. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.